What's going on gamers? I'm RC Styles, welcoming you to Season 3 of Mutant Football League. It's the flip said, fuck COVID, we're already dead anyway. So, we game, a preseason game number one, where the Baltimore Razors are going to go up against Season 1 champion, the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, video. We're broadcasting from B&B Spring Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. There's some history behind this team, Bricks. 23 years ago, the original Cleveland Burns snuck out of Cleveland, leaving their fans heartbroken. They relocated to Baltimore and renamed themselves the Razors. Well, if they were based in Cleveland, Grim, I can completely understand the move. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I will If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on Game Day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. Second and eight to go. He runs it for three. Dirty fuckers. Uh, since now I guess, Grim. They're back up here on first day, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. Oh, great pass in that play. They caught the D. 
So at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down and more than the QB would like. See what sticks, Bricks.
going for two points. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. <laughs> Comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And he kicked the snot out of that ball. <laughs> Someone get him a Kleenex. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Seven yards on that play. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second and three. And that's a run for no gain. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Third down and three. about a three-yard pickup. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. It's the time you've all been waiting for, the MFL Halftime Show. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Wow, he flew. <laughs>
comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. since they can't rest their players. And that's another turnover for the deep flow, oh, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten.
some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? It, it, it goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. The kicker kicks the ball so hard his leg is a registered firearm. Now you see why. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. <laughs> and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. It's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! Well, fee, five, foe, thumb. I... am not finishing that joke, Grim. Yelly. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And he pumps his way out of that tackle. Press down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past. The team getting penalized needs to go into their Where's out the defense since they can't rest their players? And he was stuck to him like glue. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Baltimore Razors win at home. And that's like waking up next to a beautiful girl after a night of drinking. Oh, <laughs> bonus. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. Yep. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it. And I as well want to thank you for joining me for the first pre-game of the season. Um, I'm not sure if we'll have the next one next week or later on tonight, but uh, if it's not tonight, it'll be next week. And until then, I'll be seeing you.
What? What?